Hey there, crafty friends. It is Hannah at the Doodlebug, and today on our What's New, I have lots of great stuff for you, actually. Uh, today I have got a an order from our distributor, which contains some amazing Stamperia in it. I have a Dress My Craft craft bundle to show you, and I also have a sneak peek at 49 and Market. So I'm going to give us just a couple seconds to get a couple more people on here, and I'm also going to grab, grab my earphones because I forgot those again, so I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay. Sound is better now. So, and we got a couple more eyeballs. So that's always good too. All right. So welcome, welcome friends. Again, Hannah at the Doodle Bug, Jasper, Indiana. And I have such fun, fun stuff for you. Trying to make sure I'm in the camera here for you guys. And I think I am. So first off, we are going to start with a class kit. Um, one of my fabulous customers, Stephanie did these samples for me so thank you so so much miss stephanie this is a virtual class uh pre-recorded that dress my craft has put together and i'm going to go through and show you the goodies you're going to get in this bundle and then i'm going to show you the samples for it so you're going to get a tweezers in the bundle you're going to get this great alphabet set you're gonna get some little gemstones here, shaped like little teardrops. You're gonna get this really cute lemon and lemons basic designer die set. It's got seven different dies in it. You're gonna get some card stock in here. It's their brights kit. You're gonna get some white matte card stock and a pack of smooth black card stock as well. Then, put that back in my little container here so I can keep this all together. All right, then what we've got are these card samples. So we've got such cute um, cards. It has six cards in them, some great little techniques in here, layering dies, things like that. So one of the dies you're going to be doing, or one of the cards you're going to be doing is a slim line that says, aren't you cute? Some of the fun little techniques there. You are citrusly cool. There's that one there. You are my vitamin C. You are the zest. Love the detail work on those. Then check this out. So you're learning a fun little technique for the little seeds. This says squeeze the day. And then the last one, you're one in a melon. And again, fun little technique. Coloring those little drops now black. And then that way they become the watermelon seeds. So like I said, this is a pre-recorded class that um, is recorded by the designers at Dress My Craft. You'll be given a link to the video. Um, so you can go through it. There's a little prep sheets here that I've got, so you have prep sheets as well, so you know what to cut, and then that way you can make your cards along with them. Your class kit is 50, and that gets you all the paper and those two die cut packs that I showed you. So if you would like to take part in the Dress My Craft class, let me know, and then that way we will get you down and get your kit ordered. So once again, your six different cards, you're going to be making in that class. You're getting three packs of full-size paper. And then you're also going to get this die set here. And then the alphabet die set that we used on all 
of the cards. All right. And then also your little droplets too. So that is the Dress My Craft class kit. So there's that one. So check one thing off on my list to show you guys today. I've got a pile here. Um, since, you know, being gone and running around, I hadn't been able to show you all the things I brought back. So I'm showing you a little bit of what I brought back today. Coming soon to a doodle bug near you um, are some of the paper pouncers from Picket Fence. Now, I did not go to the NAMSA show this, uh, I wouldn't really call it spring, kind of late winter. Uh, that's when the twins had their senior prom. And so I missed the NAMTA show, which means I missed out on some of the products that just came out and they sold out. Well, these are finally back in stock and they were at show. So what these are, these are paper pouncers. Um, they are not going to replace your blending brushes. These are more so for doing bigger surfaces and also delicate items as well it is a super great quality very high dense sponge feels a lot kind of like a makeup kind of sponge that real dense like that and they're 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 good in there i mean i can i could rip it out but they're they're nice in there and you're going to just pick up your ink and then you're going to pounce them so think delicate dyes you can now color those. If you've got um, intricate dyes, you can now add color to those as well. Because you're not doing that rubbing, I mean, you'll, you don't want to rub with these because you can see how it's pulling it. You don't want to rub with these. And on those intricate dyes, you don't want to rub those either. A lot of times you end up ripping them. Um, it ends up folding, creasing on you. You get aggravated. But with the paper pouncers, you're just going to apply your ink like so and then it will cover it now i know that wasn't a great demo because i have no ink on them and one day i promise to show you these a little more in depth but i wanted to let you know that we are getting these in we've got the basic set oh they but they would make cute clouds too for sure and you know really cute around just like the edges of your items as well debbie i agree so this is the brights pack there's also a neutral pack that has black, brown, and gray in it. I've got that coming. And there's a three pack of white. Let me tell you a little bit about the white one and what I see for the white one. One of them I think you should use for your embossing, uh-huh, for your embossing pad. Okay, so now you can apply with this same sponge um, to your intricate die cuts and embossing ink, all right, and then you can heat emboss those. Do the other white one for your white ink. There we go. Um, and the third one, I'm not really for sure what I'm going to do with the third one yet. Uh, that one might be fun for a different glaze effect or something like that. I know someone was talking about at my show using it for Tim Holtz's um, Distress Glaze, which is like a resist. That would be kind of cool too. Um, they did it, you know, intending that you could just use it for custom, you know, custom blend, if you were doing your own ink color, something like that, or um, just having an extra one as well um, that you could just use for, you know, maybe you didn't pick up a whole pack and you want to start small, well, then you can use that for your red, whatever. But I do have all of those coming in from Picket Fence. So the new sponge pouncers. Um, one thing too, guys, real quick, while we are talking pouncers, blending brushes, things like that. You may or may not know this. So this is just a quick little tidbit in case you want to get two of these. You cannot mix your dye-based inks and your oxide inks. So the Distress Tim Holtz oxide inks, if you have, if you use that with an orange, now you do not want to use that orange anymore for your dye-based inks. So I think that's why when you're watching videos, you see people and they have so many brushes, okay? And a lot of times that did, if they really love their oxides and they're doing a lot of stuff with their oxides, the oxides, um, when you mix them with, with the dye ink, it actually will end up making your bristles hard and they kind of stick and clump together. Those two inks do not like each other on 
the same blending brushes. So if you are a gal that uses those pretty much equally, you may want to get two sets or same thing with your blending brushes. If you've noticed there's something wrong with some of your blending brushes and you've been using them for dye inks and your Distress Oxide inks, that is probably what is going on. Um, those inks do not jive well together. So anyway, and then so I know that's what one lady was talking about. She has her oxides and all the white ones. That's where I was getting with that. So she just bought numerous packs of the white ones, did a little piece of washi tape on the outside so she knew what color family it was. And so she uses all the whites for her oxides and then all of this color just for her regular dye-based inks. And dye-based inks, you can mix those, but there's just something about the oxides that makes them different that you don't want to mix the two together. Okay, so there's a little tidbit teaser what's coming up. Next up, I know I showed you in the, um, I did a little post this morning on Facebook, some things I was going to be showing you today. One of them, I know I'm using my, uh, my mount today, so I don't have great coverage here. Um, one of them is this exclusive 49 and market bag which I love. So it is inspired by the Spectrum Gardenia, the newest line. It's got my very favorite, all the butterflies on there, okay? And they're rainbowed. It's got my fun little splotches. You know I love those little watermark splotches. These are made with our my buying group, Air. Um, we're just a group of retailers across the country. We collaborate together. Um, and sometimes, because we work so great with the manufacturers, they make exclusive stuff for us. So Janine at 49 and Market um, made had these printed with Air for us, for you guys. So I will have 49 and Market bags coming in. They're kind of a slick-ish canvas. It's not like a burlapy canvas. It's kind of a slick-ish e-canvas. Feels great. It's got a gusset in the bottom as well, too. Um, can it hold 12 by 12 stuff? Yes, it can. Let me put 12 by 12 in there. So there's a 12 by 12 kit. And look at all the extra room that I have in there, okay? So it will hold your 12 by 12s. And when I put that in there, Look, it goes in there completely, so it is a really good size bag as well. Bags are going to be $12.99. They are actually on their way here. I think I um, I have ordered deep on these because they're beautiful, and I think I can sell them all year long if they last that long. I don't know if we'll be able to do another order on these or not, um, but I think I have 40 bags coming. So if you are wanting a 49 and market bag, they're going to be $12.99, so get on my list for those for sure. I'm sure we'll get those out in a pre-order, email, on the site, whatever. Um, but you can also comment right here, and we will start that list a going for you. Okay, so there's the 49 in market. That's a new one from show. While we're talking 49 in market, let me also show you this. This is brand new. I'm going to try to not make you seasick. And I'm going to try to move my mouth up a little bit. So I can get this kit in a little better. There we go. You see my edge, but that's okay. Okay, so tighten it up here. All right, this is brand new. Um, Janine showed us this at show, and friends, I am so excited about this. So these are mini books. Now, I know we've done our mini books. We will still continue to do fun mini books with, with 49 and Market, but this one, um, it's like a mini book kind of for an in-between beginner intermediate, okay? So I'm going to open it up. Some of it, you know, I've already been working on it. You've got a great, now, and this is why I'm saying it's kind of beginner slash in intermediate. You do not have step-by-step -step instructions, meaning, you know, cut a piece of paper to this size, then put washi tape down each side and, you know, and then tell you that. But you've got a, hey, you need a two and a half by eight piece and you can see where it's going to go and you're going to put washi tape there. You need, if you want it to look like mine, you want it to assemble these little pieces and then you're going to start to layer the pieces and you're done. So it doesn't give you step by step, but here you need an eight by three piece of whatever color you want. And then you do washi tape. 
grab these die cuts. Here's your first layer, here's your top layer. So it gives you a good base for that. So you've got instructions in there. Here is the book itself. Comes in this great little box. And then in there, again, mine has already been started. You've got a bunch of die cuts in here and you also have a bunch of colored papers in here. In that instruction booklet I just showed you, um, you pick what papers you want where, what colors you want. Okay, and then I'm gonna open the book up. Oh, here's, these are some of the ones I need for my next page, but here's my page number one. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love, I love it. So the book is completely empty whenever you get it. Um, there is a little spine in there. There is instructions in your in the in the kit that tells you how to put the spine together then you glue it in to the book and then you simply just attach the page you attach one front and you attach one to the back and then you glue these together like a little sandwich but look at these pages people oh my gosh friends i love 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 them and see one of my glues i use one that's not a it's one that's a tacky Whenever it's dry, I didn't have my clear glue with me, so I'm going to have to go through and add a little bit of um, like shimmer on the top of that so it looks more purposeful. Here's another page I've got started. So I've got my pages started, and now I just need to go back and add all that fun lump and chunk. These are going to be 49. And then exciting news. Um, Janine reworked and renegotiated with the factory and then we reworked pricing for the page kits. So starting with this line, the summer line and the Christmas line, page kits will actually be going down to, I think, 30. So, um, cause they were 35. So the page kits are coming down a little bit. I think this is an amazing price point at 49, um, for these, for the mini books with all the stuff and the box. Now I'm going to show you this again when the, when the, when this line comes in. But just to let you know how awesome this, I just, I discovered this. And um, so Janine, after I showed Janine, then she showed everyone at our show. So this box, when you get it, okay, and whether you want to store your book in here or you just want to reuse it, you're going to take this box apart, friends. You're going to flip it over and you're going to put it back together. And what's going to happen is now all the outside is going to come to the inside. And if you want to gift this to somebody, that should have been tucked in there, but I'm going to show you here real quick. If you want to gift this to somebody, look how beautiful this is now. And then on the inside, take extra paper, take paper that matches the line from the line, whatever, cover cover, cover, and then it's beautiful on the inside as well. So I'm super excited about this box as well because it, because that's just Janine. I mean, you, if you love the line, you've noticed that packaging is pretty. So you can use the packaging. I mean, she says, we've got to print it anyway. You know, why not make it pretty? Why not make it functional? So I love that she thinks of all those little little bits in detail. So there is a one for this new summer line that is coming in, which is the Sunburst Vintage Artistry Sunburst line. And there is also a kit coming in for the Christmas line too. Leslie worked hard today and she got all this online and an email sent out for you guys with pre-orders for this. Um, I anticipate these mini books and the page kits being even more popular this time. The page kits are stunning. Um, we did get to see them. I posted some teasers of those too earlier in the week. Um, those are stunning. And the fact that that price point has come down on them, it's going to make them even more popular. So make sure you get those pre-orders in. Um, if you don't want to pay for it now, that's totally fine. Just do pay a pickup on it. Um, and then that way, at least we kind of, it helps me to know, do I need to bump my order up? I think right now I have eights and twelves of things coming, but if I, you know, pre-sell six page kits, I probably need to have more than just eight in stock. So that helps me as well. So there's a little teaser with 49 in market. What else do I have here to show you? 
All right. Simple stories. They were not at my show. They could not make it, but they did send us some goodies, some samples of new stuff coming out. Um, this is the card kit for Simple Vintage Dear Santa, and I just wanted to show it to you in case you haven't seen one of their card kits before, but I also wanted to be able to show you the colors in real life. So if you've been looking at the colors on the screen, I think they're pretty spot on, but sometimes it is nice to see colors in person. So that way, if you want to get your pre-orders in for this line as well, you can go ahead and do that. Again, like I said, this is the card kit for Simple Vintage Dear Santa. This whole line is up on the site as well for pre-orders. Friends, please know, I know um, I watch some of the, like the, I, they're not all stamp junkies, but I watch a lot of those sites and stuff on Facebook. Um, and if you, I mean, you're watching me, so obviously, you know, I'm one of the smaller stores that you support. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But I know that, um, you know, some of the big dot coms, they have a huge staff. And so when a company like Simple Stories or 49 and Market releases something, they can have someone dedicated right then to get it on their site. But please know most of your little guys are going to get those items as well. Sometimes it just takes us a few extra days to have the manpower to get it on there. Um, I know one lady was saying, oh my gosh, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't wait. I didn't know if my store was going to get it or not. So I ordered it all from a something, something, something. And I was just like, oh, I, I kind of, I, I felt bad for that little store because I'm in the same boat. I mean, a lot of times I, we've got 10 other things we got to get done that day. So I don't have time to stop everything for um, setting up a pre-order. So just know that if there's a line, contact that store and just see if they're going to get it and get your pre-order in. If I'm that store for you, you know, same thing, contact me, email me. Are you going to get it? Just ask. Because, you know, nine times out of ten, even if I'm not getting it, I can probably still order exactly what you want. Here's a teaser of Graphic 45. I got to bring some of this home as well. This is beautiful. So a couple years ago, they did a red and green line, which I, which I liked. Um, I didn't love, but I really liked it because it was traditional colors. Um, but the green was more of a lime green. Um, so it was a little bit brighter. And I know some people did not like that. I love the fact that they have taken the green back to a more traditional green. And then there is your sticker sheet. Again, this is called Letters to Santa. I will be getting in the collection kits for Letters to Santa. Um, ephemera for letters to Santa. So everything will be coming six by, or not six by eight, sorry, eight by eight pads for letters to Santa. The solid sets for letters to Santa. So all of that is coming. I think actually it already shipped, um, but it does ship out of the state of Washington, I believe. So it's going to take a couple days to get here, but it is on the way. Next up, we have Hello Pumpkin. Hello Pumpkin is also on the way from Graphic 45. These we don't have entered in the system yet. We'll get working on that next. But no, if you want to pre-order anything, you can let me know here as well. So this one here is Hello Pumpkin. Uh, between the two, this is this is my favorite. Oh my gosh. I, I think this line here, even if you are not a Graphic 45 fan, you're going to like this. Is that not beautiful? You're going to like this line. So this line will have collection kits. This line will also be open stock because I loved it that much when I saw it in person. We will actually be doing this one open stock as well. I let me just, it's got this beautiful watercolor look, that little punch of kind of, you know, purple, more like a Merlot. So, so pretty. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, we will have the eight by eight pads. We will also have the um, the 12 by 12 solid packs. We'll have the ephemera, the die cuts, all of that will be coming with this line as well. Love this one. And then the stickers on the back. There's your sticker set. Okay. So that is Hello Pumpkin from Graphic 45. Again, that is on the way. 
Pre-orders are not up yet on the site, but we will get working on that um, maybe next week. Tomorrow starts the semi-annual clearance sale. Um, tomorrow also starts my journey to Lafayette. So tomorrow I'm taking one of the twins up to college. He's got to be there on campus for his room move in time, which they assign him times um, at two in the afternoon. So I'm going to be leaving at like eight in the morning. So I won't be in here tomorrow. Leslie hopefully will be busy with the sale. So she may not get all that pre-entered. Um, but just know that it is, it is coming. It is coming for sure. All right, next up, we got a small order in from our distributor, which I cannot wait to show you. So one of the gals that comes in, she's on here a lot of times too. Her name is Starla. I know we've got lots of Starlas on here. Um, she's like, I know you don't do a lot of Stamperia, but there is this line that I think is beautiful and I really think it would go well for around here. And I was like, oh, really? And I had this basket sitting back here by my side while she was actually talking to me. Um, and I was like, oh, really? You know, what it, what it, she's like, it was something, something sunflower, something. I was just like, oh, and I pulled out this collection kit and I kid you not, she screamed. Okay. I, <coughs> I had to laugh. I'm like, yep, I thought it was beautiful too. I picked it up. So we're going to go through this Stamperia sunflower art. Now I did the papers. I did a few collection kits, and I'm not going to lie, she bought all my collection kits. She was nice enough to let me have this one to show you guys, um, and I owe it back to her the next time she comes in, and I've already got more collection kits on order. So let me know if you want a collection kit I'm going to add. I'll just keep bumping up that reorder. So collection kits, what you're going to get is you are going to get a bonus cut apart on the back, and then here are the papers in the line. Yeah, you can see that both. Okay. There's the back. Here's our next one. Back. Next one. The back. Next one there. Stripes on the back. Great little garden scene here. I do like the back of that one. There's the back. Here's the next one. Back. Love this cut apart page. There's the back. This one here with the tags. It does look like a gorgeous storybook, doesn't it? There's the back and then another bonus cut apart for the back side. Okay. Now, my distributor, apparently, unbeknownst to me, did not pick up all of the papers in the line. And I know I've got one paper, I think, on back order. So I've got extras of some of these papers as well. Move that to the side. All right. So I also got in. I ordered everything they showed, but apparently, like I said, they don't, they don't order at all. So I've got more of this one. Um, this one is 932. They don't have names. So there's 932. I do like this one. This is like the 4 by 6 page. 934. If you are into cards, these will make beautiful card fronts. There's the backs. Then 931. Love that stripe on the back. And like I said, one more is on back order yet. To match that line, let me pull out everything that matches it that I've got in so far. <laughs> Fun stuff in my basket. I pull it all out. Okay, so Stamperia also has an 8x8 pad. So if you loved it and you want the 8x8s, I've got 8x8 pads in. They did rub-ons for this line. Let's see. There we go. I'm trying to look and see what all. Yep, it's just the one sheet in here. So there, this one is, let's call this, this says energy. Let's call it the energy rub-on. And then the other one, let's just call it the flower rub-on. There's that one. Then they did some little decorative mat boards. This one's got the great little frames on there. Some cute little butterflies. 
this one here, I don't name anything, but this one is 170, the frames 170. This one here is the flowers. That is 169. I got in some rice paper this time too. It's backgrounds. Thought those were really pretty. So I've got rice paper in for you guys on this one. The ephemera packs here. There's two different ephemeras. This one here is T20. It's got more of the florals in it. This one here is T19. It's got the frames in it. And look at those. They are, I don't know if you can see that or not. They're like printed on almost like a metallic sheened paper. They look really, really rich, really pretty. So got those. Then they also did different silicon molds. I know some of you do the silicon molds. I thought, oh, these, these are really, so when I look at silicon molds, I think they're super cool, but I only like the ones that I can use across different projects, home decor. Can I use them in my scrapbooks? Can I use them on my, um, on my mini books, things like that. I want ones that I can really use on a lot of different things. This one here, you've got great frames and a little butterfly there. So this is a great silicon mold. This one here is M12. We'll call it the frames. This one here that looks like lace and trim. I mean, around your mini book, create some little edges on it if you're doing any kind of canvas work. You know, look how beautiful um, this little lace one is going to be. This one here is M15. If you, I mean, and seriously, like if you use these for food, how cool is that going to be with like your chocolate and stuff? Oh, love them. Of course, the sunflowers are just a good one as well. So this one here is the sunflower M09. If I lost you there, I don't know if, if you guys heard me or not say that one of the kiddos just tried to call me. So sorry about that. Okay, and he's my one that'll probably call back 25 times because I put him to voicemail. So, whew, Lord. But a little filigree on this one. This one is M11. That's another great one there. Um, let's see, this next one is a restock. So we've restocked our Noah's Ark in a 12 by 12. We also have Noah's Ark in a uh, 6 by 6 as well, too. Then there is sticker set for that. There's Noah's Ark. Finally back in stock is the Undo Sticker Remover. That has been out of stock for, I don't know, four, five months now we haven't had any. So finally got our Undo back in. Undo again, it's great to take the stick off your scissors, take the stick off your work surface, anything where you got stick. Um, but it, it also anything that is sticky in your books that needs to come out. So when I do my mini books, friends, a lot of times I will do a liquid glue um, on top of score tape. But let's say that I really mess it up or I drop it. You can real quick throw some undo on there, chisel it up, and it neutralizes the sticky on your adhesive. Now, it's not going to work on a liquid glue. So if you put liquid glue down and it's dried and now you want to chisel it up, undo is not going to work for that. It neutralizes that, like that, the glue on the back of stickers. Um, so score tape, stickers, um, double-sided tape, things like that. This is going to work great on that. And then also, like I said, if you've got, you know, stickiness on your work surface, on, on your scissors, it's also going to take that off as well, too. So undo is back in stock. Uh, let's see. Next up is the Dress My Craft, the soft floral paper. That is the paper that you want to use if you are making your own flowers and you want to color them and mold them and you want them to stay and keep their shape. This is the like the same kind of paper that you want to use for your heartfelt creations flowers. Um, it's not a regular white cardstock, um, but it soaks water. Okay, so you kind of spritz, and you know, as you're shaping and you spritz it with water. And then when it dries, it makes these rock hard flowers. So it makes them keep their shape um, much better than just molding your regular um, 12 by 12 cardstock. 
Okay, so by using this, giving the little spritz as you're shaping it, kind of, to, you know, makes it shape easier. It makes the paper fibers work better. And then once it dries, it becomes very, very hard. So if you like to make your own flowers, this is definitely a must have paper for that. It is, I mean, you can use it as white paper. I would not though, um, because it's specially formulated for your floral making. So we've got that back in stock. Ah, remember that fun little die set that Pink Fresh did? And it did all the little banners. And we also had a stamp set that went with it. We are finally getting in the next edition to the stamp set. Now, this one is already spoken for. We have a list um, of people that wanted the newest one. Uh, this one has shipped so far. And this one is called Basic Banners. And this one here is the Everyday Sentiments. So this is the next one in the grouping. I'm really, really hoping that they do a Christmas one. I'm sure that they will, but I'm really, really hoping for that as well. Here's what you're going to get in here. Stay strong, my friend. Your heart is so big. Um, you have what it takes. Hope you have the best day. Sending hugs. Congrats. Thank you. Cheering you on. Your kindness is beautiful. Miss you so much. Hello, friend. And show up and shine. So fun. So that is the next stamp that matches your die, the basic banners die. So again, if you want to get on the list now that you've seen it in person, let us know. Um, this one is spoken for, and I think the next couple are spoken for, but I've got more, more coming just on next orders. It takes them a while sometimes to get it all out the door. This little guy we've been waiting on it ever since the Be Happy line came out. This is just a cute little hexagon that Echo Park did to match that little bee line. I love the little hexagons. They're stitched. It's a cute little size, and it's only 13 bucks. So that's a great little um, price point for a bay die. And I want to show you the kicker that I love on this. Do you see that right there? Made in America. So this is actually an American made die as well, too. So I do love the fact that we can get um, good dyes. Decent price point, and they're made in America. So a little hexagon there that matches your Be Happy. Matches all kinds of things, of course, but it does make cute little um, embellishments, layers, add-ons for that adorable little bee line. Another one of that one. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and adding to that line, we've restocked the 6x6 six six pads for the Be Happy line. We still have that in 12x12. 12 paper as well too and the stickers so the rest of the line is still here we've just sold more of the six by six pads because they are so stinking cute so those are back in stock as well restocked on our nouveau glitter drops or crystal dot drops this is the simply white so it's going to do like a white enamel look for you those are back in stock and then these are brand new I thought they were kind of cool. I'm going to just try them out, see what you guys think. So it's a fun little, like, um, sun catcher. This one here does an angel. And you can see the little beads that you're going to add in there. Everything you need is in here. Your wire, everything, as well as instructions. These are not hard to do by any means. All you need is a craft scissors, crimp tool, or little pliers. Okay, that's all you're going to need for those. And that is so whenever you do your little crimpies, you can just squeeze them closed. So we got the angel one here. Then my favorite is this adorable little honeybee sun catcher. So you could do these like in a car window or in a window at home just to catch the light. I'm sure you guys can see those if I didn't get them. So there we go. They're $13 for those. It's got even your little hook is in there. Your chain is in there. There's your different color beads. There's your little bottom bulb. There's a the little bee there. There's your angel. And again, once it all comes together, and it says you get six inches of chain and hanger hook for display are included. So those are going to be fun as well. All right. Well, friends, Woo, I think that concludes our live for today. So what we've got coming up for you um, next week, I'll have Leslie post some pictures though tomorrow, is we've got Honeybee came in. So super excited about Honeybee. I know some of you had some special orders with Honeybee and you've been waiting for that. So I've got my Honeybee order in 
It is in now. So I've got that to show you guys. We also got in a photo play order as well. I uh, believe it or not, it's got more Christmas. I think they're the first ones shipping Christmas so far this year. So we've got photo play in. Um, so I'll be showing you that one day next week, but then I'll have Leslie also try and get some pictures posted once I receive that order. So that's going to be fun for you guys. Um, today I got notification from um, Buttons Galore and more that my embellishments that I ordered while I was in Kansas City have shipped. Um, let's see, clear scraps. I did some fun shakers there. Really cool little Rolodex kit. Um, a gnome class kit. That is all getting ready to ship as well. So we've got lots of fun new stuff that's going to keep rolling in, which is why I need you guys to shop my clearance sale. Um, so I'm going to pop the camera here off, show you the stuff that I've got on the tables. I know I showed you a little bit yesterday see here and I know I've got comments and I apologize for not responding when I use the mount it's a little harder for me to see but I see Debbie's got some stuff both my Debbie's have got some stuff that they're wanting Monica's got some stuff yes Becky too all right perfect gang thank you so much and Jean's wanting a bag Monica too awesome I'm glad you guys are loving the bags that's perfect so wonderful wonderful all right so here's my setup back here but I'm going to kind of breeze through here now, for my non-local girls, here's a little here's a little inside information for you on here today. Um, so we have got um, paper is already online on sale because that was the only way that I could do the paper. So we just passed the 75. Now we're in the 55. Now we're in the 45. So we've got most all of it out. I believe, I think I got it all, all done. Here's the 35% off is the yellows. Lots and lots of yellows, lots of variety too. I know um, it seemed like yesterday when I was showing it to you, I felt like I was only showing you stamps and dies. So we've got, I hit a bunch of more areas today that I knew hadn't gotten pulled. So I've got those areas taken care of today. So we're still in the, the 30. This paper over here is all 25% off. So all kinds of paper over here. Good paper too. I mean, the boy paper, love that one. This was one of my favorite full bloom lines from last year. Love that one, New Day. That was such a good line too. So a little bit of that's left and it needs to find home so we can fill up with new and more paper. And then we're coming back over to more 35% off and then starts 25. So 25, 25 all through here. Finally got this paper rack filled as well. Papers there. Stickers. And again, next week, then we will start to work on getting all of this online for our non-local shoppers. So then that way you guys can shop the sale that way. All right, anybody have questions for me today on anything? Let me see here. Okay, I think. Uh-oh. Did my screen just rotate? Hold on. Okay, my phone is yelling at me, and I know I have no idea what's going on right now, guys. Because I shouldn't, there we go. I should not be able to rotate my phone once I start a video. And when I did that, you can't turn your phone while you're recording. I get that. All right. So it's, it's screaming at me to rotate it, but I know I can't. So anyway, sorry about that. So, all right. So all kinds of great stuff. Now for my lawn phone fanatics, we can always check to see if you have purchased one of these in your history here with us. You know, obviously, if you ordered off another site or direct from Lawn Fawn, I can't check that. But I can check your history here to see if you have bought something. But oh, look at all these great little things in here, guys. There's good stuff in this clearance sale. It's not, you know, sometimes you go in like... I. I'll be honest, sometimes like, you know, some of the places, the big box stores, I don't shop the clearance sale because it's usually stuff that's been picked over. It's old. It's gross. It's not something that I want, but this is good stuff in here. These brads in here. 
the little let's celebrate. I mean, there is good stuff in here. I just need to make room for more good stuff. So that is why we are just trying to clear some of it out. Will all of it go? God, in a perfect world, yes, but I know it's not all going to go and that's fine, but some of it will go. It'll make some room for items that we've got coming in. It'll kind of freshen up the store, give us a, you know, a little fresh new look on things, which is what is always nice. Look at that, those cute little raindrops on there. So, so stinking cute, 25% off. So, all right, everybody. Well, that is it for today's live. Thank you so much for popping in and joining us today. Um, I will be back on here next week. Um, hopefully, I still, you know, I'm probably going to have a few extra gray hairs whenever you see me next time next week. Uh, moving that kiddo up to school is, is going to just hurt this mama's heart just a little bit, but I'm super excited for him. Cannot wait. Um, so, so yeah, what a fun weekend he is going to have. So I'm super, super ready for that for him. Um, but in the meantime, stop in, check out the sale. Leslie's going to be here tomorrow. And then Emily will be here tomorrow night. We're open 10 to 6. And then Leslie will be here on Saturday, 10 to 3, to help you with all your sales shopping. And then next week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll start working on getting this all loaded up and online so you guys can start shopping it there. All right, everybody. Well, friends, thanks so much for tuning in and checking it out. And we will talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.